out to the people. As humane beings, we must combat all forms of racism. R-A-C-I-S-M. For example, it was made was my birthday, it's the 15th. On 65 of your Earth years, of your Earth years, my manager here at the Shasta Hotel, Sacramento, knocked on my door. I heard say something about fixing the cameras, so, and she uh, basically accused me of pissing in the garbage can in the kitchen, which is across the hall. And I told her, well, I knew about that, and, and I had told uh, our housekeeper here that that was disgusting. So my friend, a white friend, told me, you know, oh, let it go, you know. And then I thought about it, and I thought, you know what? Was that a form of black racism? See, most folks don't think about black racism because they think, well, White racism, yeah, KKK, yeah, and they're like, you know, I'm a Chicano de Aslan. I'm not your white American. I'm not even an American to me. I'm a Chicano. And so, I took that as a form of racism. You now she, uh, is that my daughter? And then she pointed at me that this kind of leads to, to you. She pointed that at me. And without any evidence, and I'm in a six-story building. We've got a lot of people here. And that pissed me off. And, and I wanted to, to share this because it's an example see how... Uh, Race relations inside of the USA are the most complex ones in the world. And we have a black president who was born in Hawaii, not exactly in the hood. And he'll be going out. Now we're going to have Trump as president. And I pray to God he continues to grow and evolve because he needs evolving. So we need to look at. Racism impacts on all of us. And many of us have remnants of racism, whether we're conscious of that or not. And I'm blessed because I live in Sacramento. We have one of the most integrated cities in terms of race in the country. And you know, racism is a complex issue because I maintain that we are one race on Mother Earth, the human race. And I know how racism was used over the centuries to divide and conquer people based upon you know, the appearance of, of race. And look at the Spaniards. This is a complex issue. And so, America cannot be a post-racial society when it is still a racist society. You know, I support, uh, my agenda is a human rights agenda in general. I support liberation for all people regardless of race, color, sex, orientation, or whatever category. And unity is the key. And power has been able to define connected reality and then change it in a good way. So I want to see like Black Lives Matter, sure. And yes, all lives matter. 
So the whole thing about Lives Matter came from the Black Lives Matter movement. And some folks said, well, Native Lives Matter. And we can go on and on. So like, what's the point here? That we need to see that ultimately we are one race. And racism is used by Pastors pigs to keep us at each other's throats so we don't unite and overthrow them. I want to see black leaders and groups come out and support more of brown people or Latinos in support of the immigrant rights that's on Trump's agenda is immigration. So we need to be aware of, of these issues and, and uh, be prepared to help each other. You know, I want to see black leaders come out in support of immigrant rights. And not just saying black, 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 and then expect to get support from non-black people. That's key there. So we need to have like a multiracial approach to the overall struggle for liberation. It be realistic, you know. There are issues that are particular to one so-called race or group. So we can't put everything in one bag. You know, there are distinctions. Like when we say we hate uh, the Zenus, the pastor Zenus, you know, where we need to distinguish between the Israeli government and the Israelites. You know, we need to look at things more closely, not just... Uh, the labels out on people and think it's going to cover it. So we need to understand that yes, there's such a thing as racism, black racism, and see that uh, this is a complex issue, touchy issue. I think it needs to be brought up and discussed by us to help us unify our connected consciousness. And we can see that, you know, if racism is in terms of someone who has a belief in the innate, inherent superiority of one person over another, that may not be the case here with black racism. It could be more of like a, a, a sense of superiority cultural superiority, not necessarily racial superiority. So we've got to learn to distinguish discernment. So we look at, uh, to me, black people have made great strides over the centuries. And the first ones to help to stimulate my consciousness were, were black people, especially, say, black leadership. Brother Malcolm X, Fred Hampton, Huey P. Newton, Bobby Seale, Black Panthers. And then they, they helped me to see how we need, we need to have something for, for brown people. I was involved in the Brown Berets for a while. And, and uh, all this is connected to other stuff, so I don't want to go too off the margins here. So we need to combat all forms of racism. We need to support each other, help each other, and love one another. And ultimately I want peace on earth. We need to combat all forms of racism and work on any remnants of racism we can have inside us. 
not be naive. None of us here are, are angels. Whether you got wings or not. So, I'm just sharing this because sharing is caring. And I know this is a complex issue. And give me feedback. And make the feedback positive. We need to learn from each other. Respect one another. And raise our collective consciousness as a species, because at this point, you know, we are an endangered species. If we don't get our shit together, humanity is gone. We're going to destroy each other. Let alone climate chaos and other environmental issues that, you know, are real threats to us, that will, that can destroy us. We're already in kind of a, if you look at it, a collapsing civilization. Things are not going well. And we are not in Kansas. So just be aware of that. Keep studying, keep learning. You know, don't take everything personal. Just take what you can, like Bruce said, and develop from there. And prepare yourself for the struggles and storms to come, as they are coming. Power to the people. Power to the truth. Not the master.